Hey there Zen Fit Tribe. Um, welcome to another cooldown video. We've got a third cooldown video. Today we're going to start with uh, a bridge hold. Just a bridge hold for one minute. And then we're going to do front warrior uh, on the right side, front warrior on the left side. That comprises the first three minutes. The fourth minute we're going to do what's called prone mountain. Now in yoga terms, there's probably an asana to it. I just don't know the name of the asana. So if you're a yoga person and you know the asana, you can insert it here. I don't know that. So I call it prone mountain. That's what I was taught in a non-yogic way. Um, so we'll have uh, five, uh, 10 minutes total here with the cool down uh, and uh, work through some of the shoulder, the hip. Um, we're going to work through the So we're going to do uh, 10 minutes of a cool down. Again, I want you to work on bringing the breath down, bringing the heart rate down, just kind of bringing everything back into your body, trying to, do, by the time we're done with our 10, I'd like the breath to be at a natural. Inhale and exhale, no real laboring. Sweat could still be coming, because that could be coming for the next 30 or 40 minutes. So we just want to bring the breath down, bring the heart rate down, work on parasympathetic nervous system raising just a little bit to balance ourselves out. So we'll start with the bridge hold in three, two, one. Here we go. Just one minute bridge hold. Nice and high, trying to get our hips up to the height of our knees or in line with our knees and our shoulders without arching through the back too much or artificially. Well, glutes are on a little bit, but they're not like flexed as hard as they can flex. Um, my heels are dug into the ground, so my toes are very light. I'm very light on my toes, if you can see those moving. Um, I'm really on my heels almost exclusively. About 20 seconds left here, and then we will go into front warrior, right leg forward, left leg back. Trying to breathe really easy here. We have five seconds and then we'll transition. Two, one. All right, up we go. Come to the front of the mat. Right leg forward, left leg back. Um, we're in this front warrior position. So nice and deep here, about 90 degrees. So this is parallel to the floor, this upper leg. Now this is gonna hurt. I mean, there'll be some burn. You'll be fine, it's right here. Um, and if I know some of you, you tell me to shut up right now because of that. That's okay. We'll just stay here a little bit longer. Uh, so I want you to press your left leg back towards the wall. This shin drives forward. That opens up this hip. So you should feel when this leg pushes back and this leg pushes forward, this hip drops and this left leg starts to open up a lot, bit, a lot more. You can have your hands above the head. You can have them out. I don't care what you do with them, honestly. 10 seconds left and then we just switch. Switch legs. And I like this heel to be on the ground, the front heel to be on the ground, not so much through the toe. All right, we're gonna switch here. Again, back through the back leg. So the back hamstring extends to this wall behind me. This front shin pushes forward. That opens up my hip. So it takes the energy of my hip down towards the ground, which opens it up. So I've got a lot of burning. This leg wants to quit. This leg is shaking. It is what it is. I'll stay here with you because I'm sure you're feeling something very similar. Let's go arms overhead, 25 seconds left. And then we will go into a prone mountain, which is just basically laying on the ground. Hands are gonna hover above the ground. Your nose is gonna hover above the ground. And uh, we're gonna pick our knees up. 10 seconds here. Good job. Good job. Well done. And here we go. So we're laying on the ground. I'll show you how this looks. Hands can be down or up, doesn't matter. They're hovering. My nose is about one inch off the ground and my hips and knees are off, the, my ankles and knees are off the ground. And this is the position. This is it. I could be out here. I could look to each side. <sighs> P 
prone mountain. You could also just relax the feet. That's okay too. Glutes are slightly on. Abs are absolutely pulled up to the spine. So navel to spine. 20 seconds here. And then we will transition to standing shoulder circles. The shoulders are down away from the ears. Don't let those shoulders come up. So our fingertips should be extending towards our feet. Two, one. Let's go on the feet, right, right shoulder. We're gonna do 30 seconds each shoulder. So we're letting most of our hips do this action. So notice it as my hand goes back here, I kind of swing it through. Let's go forward for a couple of seconds here. And then, all right, other hand back. Sorry, my microphone is getting caught up there. Go ahead and switch it forward. All right, good job so far. After this, we got chest circles. So these are a little different. I'll do these kneeling so you can see it. These are thoracic circles. Okay, so here's what you're gonna work on. You've got three motions. You've got forward, and then you've got backwards, which is a hollowing, a rounding of the back. We've got a left. And we've got a right. The left and right look like this. So chest circles are just trying to get the center of your chest to go in a, a circle this way. And how you do that is cave in, come around. As we come around, puff out, cave in. And it might be easier to do this standing for you. 15 seconds left. But if I say thoracic circles or chest circles, you know what I mean. You'll figure it out as we go forward. We'll do more of these as we work through our cool downs. Okay, now we have good mornings. Now good mornings. Lower back is nice and straight. Hips go back. Hips go straight back. Hamstrings are tight, so hips go back. This stays fairly open. Now, the last time I was doing these on video, I noticed my left leg was kind of staying bent a little bit more because they're tight. So now I'm trying to really force my knees to go back as well. Even if it makes my lower back round, I realize that my hamstrings are so tight that I need to do that. 15 seconds here. Next we have pigeon with left leg. Pigeon with the right leg. Five. Okay, pigeon. For some reason I think I missed one. Oh, I did, okay. So we'll do a pigeon here, left, then pigeon on the right side, and then we'll do a bridge hold again for one minute to finish off. So we did a bridge hold to start, we'll do a bridge hold to finish, and that will be today's cool down. So good job, again. Breathing in through the nose and out, either through the nose or the mouth, just nice and relaxing. Trying to maintain that breath, a nice relaxing breath. Doing good so far, doing really good. 10 seconds here and then we switch to the right side. Just feeling that in the left hip, the hip that's down. All right, switch over. Now our right hip is down, so we're gonna try to feel this in our right glute, so deep inside of the hip, the right hip. When I say the hip, I mean close to your butt, where your, where your leg bone meets the, the sacrum, or the, the tail, not necessarily the tailbone, but the sacrum. It's called the acetabulum. It's where the joint 
where that ball and socket joint meet. That's where you want to feel it, is right down in there, inside of the joint almost. And you'll know when you feel it there. You'll know. 25 seconds, and then we go to a bridge hold to finish off. Bridge hold to finish off, where I'm going to be quiet, and we're going to breathe really deep. And I'll let you know when there's about 10 seconds left in the stretch. We're just going to focus on breathing deep. Good job so far. Three seconds, and we're on our backs doing a bridge hold. Here we go. Bridge hold. Ten seconds. Good job. That is one full minute of bridge hold, ten minutes total. Thank you very much for your time and this cool down today. I hope you had a wonderful workout and a great cool down. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Hope you go forth into the world and kick some butt today. Um, any advers adversity you do have, just remember um, you have it because you can handle it and you can make the best of it. That's why it was given to you. It, it's given to some other person for some other reason because they can handle it. So just know if you get it, it's because you can handle it. So take care. Thank you very much. And uh, I will see you very soon.